Welcome to the eighth episode of my series, Europe Diaries, featuring Naxos, Greece. Greece was the highlight of my two-month backpacking trip. We lounged at the local beaches, ate the best food, met the most fun people and visited three different Greek islands within 24 hours. I saw the best sunsets I've ever seen in my life. Greece was definitely one for the books. Oh my god, guys, we are in Athens. Oh, sorry, not Athens, we're just in Athens. We're in Naxos, Greece, and we just got into our house. I'm literally just exploring. And Look how cute this bedroom is. This is like our first reactions. Wow. Oh, I wonder if there's two bathrooms. Okay, so this is our little room. I don't know what that is, hallway. And then the streets are the most gorgeous things ever. I don't know why we didn't come to Greece earlier. And then we have our little kitchen. And then we have another bed there that's not made up because we're actually pretending we're only two people to get cheaper. Our other friends are gonna come and meet us. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Okay, we just got changed and we're now going to go explore the little Naxos streets. This is probably going to be my favourite part of our Europe trip. I'm so excited. We arrived in Naxos, Greece and immediately started exploring. We walked around the white walled and cobblestone streets to find the cutest hidden boutiques. Okay, we're all getting ready. We're all shopped out. Lauren bought some bikinis. Yeah, we've already made a massive bomb off in our apartment. Like, look at this. And this is only our living room. And we missed you see the bedroom. You know what I didn't sign up for with your vlogs? To have all of my shit in the background. In the background, yeah. Disgusting. Like, what is that? Um, and now we're going to go to the little beach and then we're going to go watch sunset, possibly. We will see. But look how cute my one piece is. I haven't even worn it yet. And we're like in one of our last few weeks. In Greece. Two, turn. Oh. Now the ass. <laughs> 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 I'm not wearing clothes, are you? <laughs> we love it. Our ferry took like five hours and it was delayed. Like, yeah. Every single piece of public transport we get is delayed. It took us 30 hours to get here for sorry. Yeah, it's a, been a 30 hour travel thing. Anyway, we'll see you at the beach. the beach we've got the bus there i got some gyros or, i thought they were called slovakia but turns out they're called gyros and we're going to go up onto the hill you can see that and we're going to go watch the sunset if you were ever in naxos greece this is one of the best spots on the island to see a breathtaking sunset it is the mountain near the temple of apollo the whole sky turned a fiery shade of orange and it's a memory i'll truly cherish with my friends forever update we've decided to oh, test wow. out the Naxos nightlife because we went to Barry and that was non-existent so we will see um out of the day out of the day look how cool Maggie's top is oh my god I must bang in someone right toodles we started off our night at a rooftop bar we then met up with some Greek friends we made that day and they took us to the local Naxos club where not one song was played in English <laughs>
once. Okay, good morning from, where are we? Naxos, Greece. We went out last night, as you guys saw, and it was like, it was so much fun. It was the weirdest experience ever. We didn't understand any of the music. We made like two Greek friends. That was great. They showed us the ropes. It was so different to Aussie clubbing, but um, it was good. I'm really tired. First smoothie bowl of Europe. I never just thought of it. It looks so good. TV. We I don't know. We found like a dodgy one that would give it to us because we're under 22. So actually, Lauren's not, but our other friends aren't. So like, we get a whole we, little tour. We got our little boot. We got our this big fat ass. Home. I feel like we get nits because it's like dodgy as. <laughs> Let's hope not. And we're just gonna go like fanging around the island. This is gonna be so, so much fun. salads for a bit of health because if you watch my Italy vlogs you'd see my diet was so terrible but we are now on to our second beach of the day we were absolutely like fanging on our quad bikes we were like 90 it was Jeez, so much this fun this girl is an absolute Luckily we have service though, so you rang the quad bike person and it's gonna take like an hour for him to come fix it. So, yippee! And I literally have no more water left, so could die, but hopefully not. Okay, so I thought I'd add a little story time here. So we basically got stranded in the middle of nowhere. Our quad bike literally broke down, leading such a frustrating struggle with the mechanic over the phone due to language barriers. After seven calls and him constantly hanging up on us we had to stand in the middle of the road and get a passing car to help us translate our location to the mechanic as we're on a highway in the middle of nowhere he arrived after three hours and swapped our broken quad bike for his quad bike which was huge and went 250 kilometers per hour it was like literally crazy so with three hours of daylight left and after it traumatized me we then set off for a small village on the other side of naxos and we caught the best sunset i've seen in my whole life we got a new quad bike we're gonna Joey's absolutely sloshed, <laughs> but tired, <laughs> not not drinking it the morning. And we have come to the Greek island of Paros. I'm here meeting some of my friends that I'm friends with in Australia, obviously. I don't know how else I'd be friends with. And then we're going to go and pull an all night on Eos tonight. I'm so excited. And we are going to catch a ferry back to Naxos, like where our house is. And um all Yeah. Should be fun. Also, I didn't vlog much yesterday because I like my camera storage is completely shattered. 
So we'll give it our best shot to try and get some footage of today, but I'm very, very excited. I'm gonna be so tired though. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Come along for the little exhausting journey. Just that Eastern will have gone. So we are on our way to EOS now. It's like 10 p.m. We had the best day in Paris. We're basically just chilling all day and had good food. But um, I didn't really vlog much because I've run out of storage. So I hope they can get some clips for EOS, but no promises. I'm so excited. And also, Bella wasn't going to come. And now no, she's here. Woo! How are you feeling? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're on the ferry. It was delayed by an hour. So we're still on the ferry. It's like 1 a.m. Oh, we're... Escobar Night Club. Uh, doing some research into where we should go because we've got to figure out what cl like what clubs are open till 7 a.m. because we're gonna be there till 7 a.m. Yeah. I think it looks so tragic because like look we're all sleeping because this ferry was like two hours to get there but you know we'll figure it's it out. Delayed, I already like said that. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, maybe it's lighting that's disgusting. We've got this whole conference room to ourselves. Everyone's off the ferry because obviously <laughs> yeah, except for the guy over there. I'm just chilling. Anyway, wish us luck tonight. It's 1 a.m. We arrived in EOS! clubs but you know we made it i found it a little bit tragic i'm very sweaty we're now going to go watch the sunrise at eos because we've never been to eos so why is joey not in my camera but anyway it should be some fun <laughs> Okay, so we have made it back to the Airbnb finally. We had an absolute shocker this morning. Our friend who didn't go clubbing with us, she was asleep and didn't hear any of our calls, nothing. So we had to sit outside for three hours and everyone was looking at us like, oh my God, look. Yeah, 10 a.m. We all looked so rough. Like you would have seen the videos, like my eyes look like panda eyes. But I'm feeling okay now. I went and got breakfast while we're waiting for our friend to wake up because like, we had sat outside for so long. But anyway, we had the best night last night. It was definitely so fun. I went to like six clubs or something. But I feel like we're just gonna die tomorrow if like the non-sleep will catch up. What, there were some good stories out of it. Yeah, we kept we made this we met these guys and I kept calling him an idiot sandwich and he didn't speak English. She like so then so then he just started saying idiot sandwich. She was like she had just had sixteen shots and she was like, What are you? <laughs> and he's like idiot so I was like teaching him like the best English words. And then he's like, Why are you touching my face? And you're like Idiots! <laughs> <laughs> what it was like. It was so funny. Super great night. We're now gonna go to the beach because like 1 p.m. We're all gonna have a nap there because might as well make it productive and get tan while we're relaxing. <laughs> believe I just pulled Nornida in Eos, Greece. So we arrived back this morning, as you saw, to Naxos, which is where we're staying. Basically, one of my Australian friends that I'm really good friends with in Australia, her, her and her family were staying in Paros. So we thought we'd go to Paros for the day, visit them. because, And then we decided Eos is really close to Paros. So we're like, why not go out for the night? So we decided that before we went to Paris, so we packed our bags and, went, and then gave our bags back to the friend that was coming back to Naxos who wasn't coming to EOS. That's how we made it to EOS with like no bags. And we just had our mum bags, like our absolute necessities. I really wanted to go to the slammer bar where they slap you in the face, 
but it closed before we got to go. It was like 5 a.m. when we decided we wanted to go. But then there was this random guy on the street and I could see he had the face paint. So I was just talking to me, like we slap him on the face. So I think I inserted that clip. Oh, I don't know if I should insert that clip. It was so fun. I felt really bad, but it was so much fun. Very good. I highly recommend if you're not planning to stay in EOS, literally do what we did and just do the, the night trip out. Ferry got in at like 1 a.m. We left at 8 a.m. the next day and then we we're back in Naxos. So I had a shower because I feel so gross, but now I feel good, which is amazing. Good morning. It is another day in Naxos. I'm getting camera shy because I'm by myself and I don't want to debrief, but I'm going to debrief anyway. So yesterday after the beach, I literally went to sleep at 3. I got back at like 4 p.m. I kept falling asleep on the beach and I was like, you know what, I just need to go to bed. So I went to bed from like 3 p.m. and I woke up this morning at 8 a.m. So I don't know how many hours that is, but it's over 12 hours. And today we've booked a little boat tour. And I don't really know much about it because the girls booked it out while I was asleep. Because I was the only one sleeping. Because I don't know why I couldn't handle the crazy EOS night. But um, I'm going in this tunnel. And then, yeah, we're basically going to go on this boat. And literally the best boat day ever. This is our last day in Naxos. So hopefully we'll have an amazing last day. Because the girls actually leave back for Australia in two days. And we get to Athens. But I go on to see some other friends in Portugal. There's our boat. Ah. First reaction to the boat. I'm so excited. I can just so clean. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, so it's been an hour since we left the port. And we did go in the ocean as you saw, and we went out to sea and then our boat broke. So no boat day for us. We're gonna see if we can maybe hire a boat. But that was a bit of a flop. It was a nice little like, honestly it was super comfy up on the top. So we like slept yeah. for a little bit, hung out. Yeah. Cause it, it was supposed to be like 10 hours. Yeah, we're supposed to get lunch on there too. So now we're gonna go get a coffee, reevaluate what we wanna do, but what a great little twist of the plot. It should be right though, but. At least we had a great view and we did go swimming for a little bit and they gave us snorkels and that's about it. Anyway. Okay, so because we couldn't get a boat, we hired the classic and we got a little paddle boat and it's got a slippery dip. So, you look how beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> Then comes a baby with severe brain damage. Oh yeah, that's how it is. And we are going to go to dinner. We don't really have any plans if we're going to go out or if we're going to go drinking. We'll see. My skin is not loving the alcohol that I have consumed recently. Neither. So we're going to play it safe. But look how beautiful she is. We both look so pretty tonight. And even though our boat didn't work out today, we, we literally had the best day. It was so much fun. We ended up going skinny dipping in the middle of the lake. And then we later found out there was this do guy on the beach. Yeah, I do. That had binoculars. So. Lucky him. Oh, but you know, we did get a discount on our boat. So you paid after our boat sure, and that was the guy on the beat. And so we got a discount. I was like, yippee. And then, yeah, look how pretty this mural is. It's absolutely, look how brown we look. Hold on, I need to take Oh, look at that sunset. Oh. oh this is cute. <laughs> and <laughs> After a few amazing months of traveling together, we had our last dinner at a cute authentic Italian restaurant and finished with some drinks to celebrate the end of the girls' trip as they were going home and I was going to continue traveling but with different people. Such a bittersweet night as we reminisce on the amazing adventures and laughs we shared. Bye bye, Naxos house. Literally chaos every time we try to leave. There's so much stuff going on. Last 
This is the last time we go from Airbnb to Airbnb. <laughs> That's so sad. All right.